friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love thank you for your support i really appreciate much but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a ugandan lady by the name of trisha a very good friend of mine we have known each other for almost three years now yeah and i'm so excited guys <laughs> so so happy for her so trisha is in her early 30s and found love on online dating app within three days of joining that dating app when she told me i was like what are you serious she told me yes bella <laughs> you can't believe it but another thing that you guys should remember as you listen to this beautiful love story it's not that trisha was on that dating app for those three days no trisha's love journey has been really long what does this tell us it tells us that or it encourages us that us who are on online dating apps dating sites searching to not give up because no matter how long you have been to the dating sites dating apps it's not working it doesn't mean you will never find anyone no because stories like Tricia's teaches us or reminds us that that time that you are planning to give up it might be your god's time that same same time that god has decided to respond to your prayers so we should keep moving forward guys yeah today's story is kind unique because i told you she is a very good friend of mine <laughs> some of you who have been like bella connect me to a white guy <laughs> so yeah at some point trisha was really desperate and could ask me bella if you know any good italian guy please connect to me with him but because i always tell you the truth i don't have those guys i could respond same same thing to trisha that you keep on trying on the dating sites dating apps if you have any question feel free to always come and ask me and i will guide you through yeah so i've been there for her through all her journey you know to search for love and we are here celebrating because she has found the one the one guys <laughs> i'm going to be narrating you a bit of what happened what her journey has been like till the day she found that guy and give you some tips and tricks then we wait when i tell you we wait that means when they get married i'm gonna be coming back here to give you a detailed love story about trisha and her cute german boyfriend <laughs> so yes guys i didn't plan to bring this but when it came up i got so excited and i was like i know this will help someone out there so dear friends trisha's love story starts with the question that i always ask every woman that shares her love story on this channel which is what was your past love relationship experience before joining online dating apps or sites and i always ask that question to help you guys that are watching the video to know where the lady came from or what pushed her to join online dating apps so trisha responded to this and tells us yes she was in love relationships before with ugandan guys tells us i tried my best i gave my haul but what i got in return only hard breaks so it reached a point i was like no way i'm not going to keep on dating ugandan guys and i know you guys who are watching this video even if you're not a ugandan you are maybe an african lady can relate 
to this situation because even me i can relate you know those days <laughs> when things were here <laughs> yeah so things were here too with trisha dating ugandan guys so trisha decided to just focus on her life love herself more focus on her job and grow herself academically but dating was like no so ears kept on going but as you know guys being single it's not easy oh my god sometimes it feels really really lonely single ladies in here with this too you can relate <laughs> how it's like so no matter how you are fighting yourself that i want to be single but still the loneliness is real it hits you really really badly sometimes and that pushes you to be like no way now let me just try again and see what will happen it's never easy guys to remain single forever <laughs> That is why your girl has been here advising you, you know, encouraging you to not to give up on love. Yes, sometimes it can be good. Yes, to some extent, it's good. You're, you are free to do what you want at any time of the day. You don't have lots of responsibilities. Because, you know, guys, being in a relationship, it's a responsibility too. <laughs> Yeah, you just don't be in a relationship without responsibilities. Responsibilities too are there. That's the only difference I can say the good thing about being single, but the other part is the bad one. I know, I know guys. So yes. friends, due to the loneliness, at that time, Trisha was like, I need to put myself out there. Remember, had sworn that I'm not going to date any other Ugandan guy. But yo, the loneliness, guys. <laughs> That's when she came across another Ugandan guy and they dated all was super good between them. They were crazily in love with each other and they could enjoy the goodies. <laughs> so as they kept on enjoying the goodies after one month of them knowing each other, Trisha found out that she was pregnant. And that's when she had to break the news to this Ugandan guy that you know what, I am pregnant. But the response of this guy, oh my God, really broke her heart again. Because this guy told her, I wasn't planning to have a baby, but at the same time, I am a married man. I've got two other wives. Oh my god, I don't know why men play these games. I don't know. You give him all your heart and see, see what he pays you back. So Trisha cried a lot because it wasn't in her plans, you know, to be with a man who is married already. Trisha is one of those ladies that always dreams to have a man of their own. If it is having kids, you have kids of your own. You start a brand new family together. But with the situation of that guy, after telling her he's married, that was not going to happen. Meaning Trisha's dreams were shattered. So this guy started telling Trisha, you have to abort the baby because I didn't plan to have a baby with you. But my question here is, if this guy never wanted to have kids with Trisha at that moment, why then enjoy the goodies without the protection? And this takes us or takes me to give you an advice. You, my beautiful ladies, every time I tell you this is about you, not anyone else. So even when giving your goodies out, you have to think about you, your life. You have to protect yourself. Don't expect that guy to be the one to protect you. Take things into your control. So guys, this Ugandan guy kept on insisting that should get rid of the pregnancy and he's gonna marry her. Then after marriage, that is when they can have babies, you know, start afresh. But guys, Trisha had to put her feet on the ground and was like, no, I'm not going to get rid of this pregnancy. I'm going to keep growing it until I have my baby. I'll take care of my baby. Do not worry. You just go back to your wives. And also added that 
I did not plan and I am not planning to marry a guy that is married already. Yes, I made a mistake. I didn't know you were married. Now you have told me the truth. Let's end this. So this Ugandan guy told her, if you don't want to get rid of the pregnancy, yes, let us end this. Some guys can be really, really cruel. And that's the time you even get angry when you start thinking of the sweet words these guys were telling you. Sometimes they change and you'll be like, hmm, is this the same guy that I was sharing the bed with? Is this the same guy that promised to love me forever? And that's why it is good, guys. Even if a guy tells you sweet words that melts your heart, you need to see actions because anyone can tell you sweet words. But what are their actions? Because through their actions, that is when you confirm the words that they told you. But if he just tells you sweet words, it melts your heart, you run into bed with a guy and then things happen, he can change to your worst enemy. Take this from me. So yes, guys, they ended it. And after ending it, Tricia kept on growing her pregnancy until her baby came. She got a very cute baby boy. The guy never ever bothered to even look for Tricia to get to know what happened, even to come and see the baby, never. But Tricia tells us she had accepted that already. She had set her mind already that she's gonna be a single mother, will always be there, for her son will keep being strong because of her son so yes sometimes it could hurt her but she had made a choice already so her life kept on going her baby growing and when her baby reached two years of age that is when trisha told herself now i am seriously done with ugandan guys but i still want a man in my life like i told you guys being single is not easy even if we always fight with it, be like we want to be single, but it's never easy. So one day, Trisha tells us was on YouTube, watching some YouTube videos, and then popped up a How We Met video. She really got curious, clicked on it, and started watching it. As she watched that video, the couple mentioned that they had met on a dating app. And that's when she took the name of that dating app, that was 2021, and decided to join it. So guys, when Tricia joined that dating app in 2021, was super new to online dating world. And because she wanted to see different men globally, decided to pay for a gold subscription. After paying a gold subscription on that dating app, started chatting with guys from all over the world. So yes, she was chatting with different guys, but there was nothing serious. She had not yet found a guy that they connect. So she stayed on that dating app, paying for six good months. And that's when she came across a Kenyan guy who lived in the US. Yes, he's Kenyan, but he was also a US citizen. So the name of this Kenyan guy was Joel. Joel was such a cute guy in his 30s. Oh my God, he was super sweet, very, very caring. Cause even before meeting in real life, this guy started sending money to Trisha. Trisha was over the moon and at that time, it was the time I came to know Trisha when our friendship started. So yes guys, I remember very well Trisha coming to me to talk to me about the Kenyan guy and the advice that I gave to her was make sure you visit this guy in Kenya so that you can meet his family. It's very, very important even if he has accepted your son, but still you have to know his world. So go to Kenya, meet his family, and also make sure you visit this guy in the US so that you can see the life he lives. I don't want you to date him and later on come to find out he had a wife in America or he had a wife in Kenya. She was like, okay, no problem. Then I remember she returned back and was like, the guy is saying it's gonna be difficult. It will take lots of years for him to invite her 
to America. For me, that sounded like a red flag because when you are chatting with a guy and you are making plans, no matter how that process is going to be difficult, he is not supposed to start being negative already, starting to discourage you. It might happen or it might not happen. You know, it's very difficult. No, at least a guy should be willing to give it a try. So yes, to me, it sounded like a red flag, but I insisted that make sure you visit this guy both in Kenya and in the US. She was like, okay, I will work yes. on that. So, so yes, yes, guys, Trisha talked to Joel and Joel was like, don't worry, I'll be coming to Kenya very soon. So I'm going to invite you to Kenya because in Kenya, he had even lots of apartments and he was even telling her to move from Uganda, go to Kenya and stay in one of his apartments. When she told me, I was like, hmm, that is a good plan. But still, you have to go to America to see his life too. Yeah, we talked and he said he will think about it. You see, this guy is not giving clear response. <laughs> when he tells you, I'll think about it, we will see mm, something is not right somewhere. But Tricia kept on the relationship with Joel. And time came, Joel went to Kenya, invited Tricia from Uganda to Kenya. She went and he introduced her to few friends and family members, not his parents, like taking her to his parents and do a formal introduction. That did not happen. But Tricia was happy the way things were because Joel was really spoiling Tricia, could give her everything that she could ask. So after meeting in Kenya, they stayed together for two weeks and then Tricia had to go back to Uganda, you know, keep on with her job and Joel returned to America. So yes, guys, after three months of them meeting in Kenya for that first time, Joel planned again another trip to go to Uganda to visit Tricia, get to meet the son and, you know, try to bond with Tricia's son. Tricia was super, super happy. And yes, Joel went, brought lots of gifts for Tricia's son. Tricia tells us Joel really cared so much about her son. Something that kept on bringing her so close and attached to Joel. So him being in Uganda, Tricia had planned to introduce him to her family. But surprisingly, guys, Joel refused. Was like, no, for now, let us just enjoy the time together, me bonding with your son. We will plan for other time to go see your parents. Tricia in her heart felt bad because was ready, you know, to show him to the parents, but she had to accept and keep on the relationship. And guys, if you have been following me here, you are going to remember these words. You don't need to wait for a guy to tell you that I don't love you or I don't have any serious plans with you, but his actions, you'll start to see things that are really not clear in that relationship. Let us be more wiser while in these relationships, while in this struggle, this battle to find a right guy. So they really enjoyed good times together and Joel stayed one month in Kampala with Tricia and then returned back to the US. So after returning to the US, the relationship kept on going, them communicating, him sending her money, she had her business, the guy had to grow her business the more, all was super, super good. And then again, he planned another trip back to Kenya and he was to stay only two weeks. Wanted Tricia in Nairobi, Kenya. Tricia was really, really happy and wanted to use that chance to convince him, to take him, to introduce him to her parents. Yeah, the time came, Joel came back to Kenya. But things started changing drastically. 
So when he arrived at night, you know, they had to enjoy the goodies. <laughs> then all of a sudden, this guy does not want, you know, to enjoy goodies the normal way. The guy wanted the back door. <laughs> Tisha was like, what? No, I cannot do that. They started fighting from there. And that's when Joel was like, I think our relationship is not going to work if you don't give me the back door. Because it is something that is very, very important to me. But Trisha said no. And she tells us in a relationship is someone when she says no, it's a no. There is nothing like I'm going to think about it <laughs> to make him happy. No. So she refused and that night they slept different rooms. So in the morning, Trisha had to talk to him again, try to make him understand that it is something that she will never do in her life but would like to continue the relationship with him. But Joel was like, no, Trisha, I think we are not understanding each other on this. For me, it's a must. And I thought you loved me enough to allow me take the back door. Trisha said, no, 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 I cannot do that. And didn't stay in Nairobi for those two weeks that they had planned. Had to return back to Kampala because it's like their relationship had really changed. So yes, guys, after returning to Kampala, I thought that Joel will fight for her, you know, and compromise, be like, okay, let's forget about the back door. <laughs> no, no, no. A guy kept on insisting and told her, think about it. If you're okay, then we will continue the relationship. But Trisha wasn't ready and in the end had to give up on everything, you know, the money she could get from him, you know, that care, a man being there for her all the time was like, no, I'm giving up on everything. It's like this guy never even loved me. If he loved me, he could have just forgotten about that whole thing of the back door. So you see, guys, not only white guys that are into the back door. <laughs> These days, even black guys are into that. Oh my God, I don't know where this world is heading. Really, I don't know. So the relationship ended like that, guys, between Trisha and Joel, the Kenyan guy. So after that relationship ending, Trisha had to go back to that dating app. And started searching this time was really sure of what she wanted never wanted to date any other black guy and her focus was on Italy wanted an Italian guy <laughs> and guess what guys God brought an Italian guy this guy was so good he was so sweet Trisha came to talk to me about that Italian guy and they even started talking of meeting in real life. Of course, I told Trisha what she needed if the guy is to invite her to Italy, come with a Schengen visa. And then Trisha asked me if it is possible I can talk to this Italian guy and tell him the documents that are needed on his side for him to invite Trisha from Uganda to Italy. I was like, no problem. Anything for you, girl. <laughs> so she shared the phone number, but then I told her, I think it will be good if this Italian guy talks to my husband. You know, they speak the same language. <laughs> and I've been doing this, by the way, hoping, you know, Italian guys talk to my husband. And he tells them what they really need so that they can invite their girlfriends so yeah after taking the number i talked to my husband and my husband was like okay no problem i also gave trisha the number of my husband so that he can be the one to write to my husband and i told trisha if this guy talks to my husband then he is a good guy so we waited and waited for this guy to call he never called a week passed never called then eventually after two weeks that's when this italian guy sent a message and was like he's so busy at work but he's gonna call the next day they fixed an appointment with my husband you know to talk but when that appointment time came this guy never called sent another message giving excuse and <laughs> And that's when my husband was like, this guy is a liar. <laughs> 
no one here this is just a player because if you are serious what does it need you know to make a call and talk I never called guys till today as i'm making this video <laughs> <laughs> but Trisha kept on chatting with this guy and this guy told her he is saving some money to go to Uganda to meet her. <laughs> Mr. I am saving. Guys, this Italian guy is a true definition of Mr. I am saving that I talked about in my videos. You meet a guy online and when you start talking of meeting, he tells you, you know what? I didn't know it was this expensive, so I have to save. He saves one year, the second year, the third year, still he is saving. Stay away from Mr. I am saving because these guys that goes to online dating apps to chat with black women that are in Africa, maybe you are in Jamaica, you know, in the Caribbean, in Asia, maybe Indonesia, Philippines, and he is chatting with you, they know what to do when they find a right woman. They know they have to cash in some money <laughs> so that you guys can be together. But a guy that will tell you, I am saving, but you don't know even when, you know, that money is gonna be enough for you to meet, it's a risk to keep on the relationship with him. Patricia kept on chatting with him and also kept herself on the dating apps, you know, to search, but no one, guys. She was not lucky at all and eventually decided to delete that dating app completely. <laughs> so remained with an Italian guy chatting, you know, just like that. And I had told her he is just passing time yeah so she kept on passing time with him but with dating apps trisha was like no 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 i am done but sometimes yes she could say i am done and then again find herself in delete and again find herself in so she was in and out so the last time she deleted the dating app completely like i've never come back here was last year july and decided to take a break concentrate on herself and tells us decided to leave as the day goes by not putting so much pressure on herself you know because of age i'm a single mother i told you she is in her early 30s and you know that age that is when you start you know getting confused and be like oh my god i'm getting old and with a baby who is gonna marry me so she had to take all that pressure away from her and decided to live her days lightly live as the day goes so she kept on living like that and tells us until 2024 february this year guys <laughs> something kept on pushing her to again install that dating app she kept on fighting with herself a lot like i should just forget about it but on the other side something is telling her no install it install it so guys after trisha fighting with herself a lot whether to go back to dating app or not eventually <laughs> decided to go back and what she did after deciding to go back decided to pay a gold subscription so after paying that gold subscription it was on 10th february 2024 started getting lots of likes of guys from Czech republic and other countries kept on interacting with different guys and on 14 valentine's day <laughs> got a message from this cute german guy this guy is in his early 40s so after reading his message she responded and tells us the communication started flowing they chatted non-stop for six good hours <laughs> can you imagine guys and after that what happened they moved to Instagram, chatted a lot on Instagram, and after Instagram, moved to WhatsApp. Oh my God. So I have a tip here for you. There are some guys that will come to chat with you, and when you talk to them, they tell you, download Google Chat, or let's communicate on Instagram. And I know, yes, as much as it seems like a red flag, but I told you to try it all. Let us stop judging people immediately. Just because this guy told you, download Google Chat, then no, this guy is a player. 
take your time he tells you download google chat it's okay but are we going to be staying on google chat forever you need to ask that after some few conversation so that you get to see is this guy trying to hide something from me that's why he is selecting a certain way of communicating all things gonna change you need to know that so if he tells you let's chat on instagram it's okay but as the conversation goes on and you really find each other he finds home in you of course you will have to move to a more comfortable way an open way of communicating like whatsapp yeah let me hope this was helpful for you who is still searching so after moving to whatsapp they started making video calls they were so happy to see each other oh my god all was going smoothly i told you when you find that white guy you don't need to try a lot things just flows <laughs> and you see this lady stayed for years on the app searching but when god brought the one oh my god everything is going like this fast <laughs> yeah you're gonna know in a minute why i'm saying this so yes they invested time in each other getting to know each other and after one day of communicating this guy introduced trisha to his parents oh my god she couldn't believe it that you can find a guy online and within a day he is ready to introduce you to his family but i can say this is god so the parents were really happy and this guy another thing that you need to know this german guy was new <laughs> on that dating app he joined 11 of february 2024 a day after trisha joined again that dating app but he was a guy that was really desperate to find a right woman due to his past love relationship experience he had been through a lot too had met scammers had met ladies that lied like last time i was telling you stop lying had met ladies that lied to him in other dating sites him too was super tired but his friend kept on encouraging him that no go back it works i've seen relationships working people meeting online so give it a try and i remember telling you that when you meet that guy that is really desperate you know to settle down have a family of his own you will be shocked of how things are gonna be going fast and most of you you take this as a red flag be like maybe he's love bombing me no even if a guy is running a very fast race <laughs> concentrate please concentrate watch them the red flags so yes after two days of them chatting making video calls <laughs> being into each other this german guy told her that he wants to go to uganda he is booking the flight ticket on that second day of them communicating i know you two who is watching this you will be shocked because nothing like that had ever happened in the stories that i've shared so far <laughs> I remember Dorothy's story but that was after a month. If you remember a random lady Dorothy, yeah, it was also fast. But two days and he's booking the ticket. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she was happy but scared at the same time be like, mm, "Hmm, let me see how this goes." <laughs> but came to me and told me about it i was super happy i was like wow let's thank god because you know your girl always looks on the positive side of things yeah <laughs> so another thing that trisha told me was like bella this guy wants to come and also meet my family my parents oh my god i was like really I said yes and i also asked her what does he want to tell your parents you need to you know dig deep to understand what does this guy intend to do when he goes to visit your parents because i know some of these white guys they'll just visit your parents you know <laughs> and take the goodies make you believe then disappear 
but you have to dig deep into this so that we get to understand but if you find out he doesn't have like a good plan or a good reason to see your parents stop him from going to see your parents so the next day she came was like yes we talked i tried to dig deep this guy is serious because we had talked about the bride price so he wants to meet my parents so that they can discuss the bride price and everything because his intention is to get married and he will be staying in uganda for only one week he doesn't have a long leave so i was happy i told her then if that's the case it's okay you can take him to your parents when he comes but you know before taking him to your parents you have to meet be together you will understand more as you keep staying with him before presenting him to your parents she was like okay thank you so much bella and yeah i kept on being happy celebrating for my girl <laughs> yeah so time for him to travel to uganda came and yes guys on 16th march he traveled to uganda arrived trisha was so happy they met at the airport oh my god hugged so tightly everyone was looking at them <laughs> to an extent trisha was like i hope no one takes us photos or videos and sending them over social media because everyone was looking at them how they were really happy to meet each other at the airport so yes guys because trisha had prepared herself you know she is a single mother but did not go with her kid to the airport <laughs> no left the kid with the nanny at home so after the airport they went to the hotel which he had booked reaching at the hotel he had brought lots of gifts for her son he had brought lots of gifts for her he had brought lots of gifts for the family too so if you have been dating someone you are in a long distance relationship and you haven't met yet <laughs> when he comes the first thing that will tell you this guy really had planned to come for you only you him bringing gifts is among all the things yeah keep that in mind because these guys that pretend they're so much in love with you they have booked a flight ticket right away after knowing you or they had booked already and they want to meet you when they come they don't have anything that they came with to show you that yes it's true i came for you i was prepared to come only for you yeah and another thing like i said due to bad relationship experience that we go through at some point in life <laughs> in our love journeys it had made us to not believe in these guys when a guy is too fast you're like no the guy is love bombing me this guy no it can't be how can someone meet me in two days he wants to meet me he's telling me when he comes he wants to see my parents <laughs> how is that even possible but one thing i'm telling you my sister it doesn't take a lot to know a guy who came just for you or a guy who came just to explore africa you know <laughs> and it's beauty <laughs> while enjoying the goodies it doesn't take a lot when he comes you'll see if this guy is investing time in you to get to know you or he is busy like <laughs> wanting to go here wanting to go there <laughs> and when it comes to you no any conversation you know when you see that Mm, that guy did not come for you but a guy who comes and then he is into you wants to spend most of the times with you even he doesn't care of going for safari or anything like that no he is just enjoying the time you spend together when you see that the guy is real he is not trying to love bomb you or anything like that and this guy wanting to go see her parents it means the guy is serious another thing my sisters men are different some guys are slow you know they want to take their time to get to know you maybe due to their past love relationship experience but there are some guys even due to their past love relationship experience it has made them 
when they fall in love with a lady, they don't want to spend lots of time chatting without meeting. So study a guy you are dating. Stop judging right away. Otherwise, you're going to lose a good guy and remain single. So yes, guys, my goodies lover, did they enjoy the goodies on the first day? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they enjoyed the goodies and it really went super super good <laughs> after four days of being together in Kampala they had to go to the village and see her parents so arriving at her parents house tells us the parents don't speak English <laughs> so she was the one translating what this German boyfriend was telling them. And of course, they were so happy for both of them also talked about the bride price. The bride price were sent everything that is needed. And after that, they had to return back to Kampala. So in Kampala, all went super good. Tells us it's like they had known each other for so long. This guy was super, super open. But even before meeting, tells us this guy started showing her everything. His house, whatever he does, everything, including even his salary, how much he earns. When a guy falls in love, oh my God. Sometimes for us Africans, <laughs> we laugh and be like, is he crazy? But it's not that he is crazy he is in love it is called love <laughs> Yeah, so all was going really good. This guy could call his colleagues, his friends, and show them Trisha. Also, Trisha got a chance to talk to his boss at work. <laughs> Imagine, guys, and they're all happy. Happy for him. And also, Trisha had the freedom, you know, to touch his phone. <laughs> Something that is almost impossible. If, if a guy has got lots of things that he is hiding from him, <laughs> he has lots of skeletons in the wardrobe because remember this guy was on a dating app and they tend to have lots of contacts <laughs> so when you meet sometimes some contacts are still there they're still communicating so there is no way he will give you his phone but with this German guy he gave her the freedom you know to use his phone oh my goodness <laughs> ah love is beautiful and I'm so happy you know to be witnessing such kind of stories. So guys, everything kept on going good and as they were still in Kampala together, before he left, he started talking of marriage because he wants to marry, <laughs> wants to pay the bride price and then the wedding. So guys, the next plan is he will be coming back to Uganda May this year to pay the bride price. And after paying the bride price, as I'm talking right now, Tricia is doing some research with the visa process of her and the son. So when he comes to pay the bride price, they will have to travel again, you know, the three of them, Tricia, the boyfriend and the son to Germany so that she can get to see his life, meet the parents, the friends, you know? <laughs> yeah. Then after her visit in Germany, she will come back to Uganda to wait for him. In August this year, that is when they are planning to have their wedding. Their plan is to get married in Uganda and then move to Germany, Tricia and the son, you know, reunite, live there happily ever after. But if there will be any change of plans about where they will do the wedding, I promise to come back here and update you on that. Girl, you know, I love you so much. Congratulations. And I am here for you whenever you need me. <laughs> yeah, I wish you all the best. Please let us wish them all the best in their plans. So quickly guys, the name of the dating app where Trisha met the German boyfriend, they met on a dating app, our famous one, <laughs> Tinder.
Tinder. Yes, guys, they met on Tinder. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really appreciate much. I hope you learned a lot. Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super, super good. Don't forget to comment below what you think about this video. If you haven't subscribed, really, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Much love to you guys. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.